This video is going to go over downloading proteins, preparing proteins, and how to use some of the basic functions of MOE. So there are a number of places where you can download proteins. One of the best, in my opinion, is if you go to Google and look up Protein Database, and then go to the first link here. Here you can pretty much look up any crystal structure you want from any protein. For instance, if we go here and look up the vitamin D receptor, you can see that it will then load in this crystal structure of a bunch of different vitamin D receptors. So a bunch of these are in complex with uh, vitamin D3, like you can see here. Also, they all have a unique code, which this one's 2GJ5, this one is 3C6G. And if you ever want to look up a specific structure that is found in whatever publication, that publication should have this code so you can easily find that specific receptor. And so in my case, I'm going to look up a specific code for a vitamin D receptor, which is 4ITF. And here's the crystal structure of the vitamin D receptor that is in complex with this particular molecule that I'm going to download. So once you find the receptor that you want to download, you go to download files, then download the PDB format. Now back in MOE, we can open the protein by going to file open, then going to where the protein is saved. All of this can stay checked as is. And here's the protein we downloaded. So to move this around, we would use these controls here. So right now it's set to spin the protein. So if we click and drag here, we'd be spinning it from side to side or up and down. And if we check here, then we can move the protein from side to side or up and down. So now, when we download new proteins, they need to be prepared in MOE. So there might be some charges that aren't quite right in here, or maybe there is uh, an amino acid chain that's broken in the wrong place, and MOE can find those errors in the structure and fix those. So to do that, we would go to Compute, Prepare, Structure Preparation, and here is basically a list of it shows you everything that it found that is incorrect uh, in this protein. So for instance, it found an incorrect number of hydrogens. So all we do here is click correct, and it will go through that list and correct all of the errors that it finds in the protein. Another way to do this would also be to go to Compute, Prepare, and Quick Prep. You can see it's working up here. Great. Now that it's done, you can see the structure changed a little bit because it added in some implicit hydrogens and other things. So we would now want to save this prepared protein so that we can use the prepared version of the protein for any docking that we would do. So we then go to File, Save, save it wherever you need to save your proteins, and enter the file name. I'm going to call this VDR for vitamin D receptor and call it Prepared. So now that it's saved, so whenever I do docking with proteins, I would use this prepared version so it's all ready to go.